Hey everyone, Kev Muldoon here. I'd like to share with you all a very cool WordPress plugin called WooCommerce Product Table. It's from an English company called barn media As the name suggests, this is an extension for WooCommerce. So if you've got an online shop that's powered through WooCommerce, this is something that you might find interesting. What it allows you to do is to display a really professional looking table on your website and posts and pages, etc. You can list all your products or just list a small selection of products and you can give users, you know, your customers quite a lot of different options. There's filtering options that you can see here in the background. They can sort by different fields. There's a search form as well. Little things like this though, it's, it's amazing how, you know, just presenting your options in a different way can really, you know, lead to improved sales, better conversions and things like that. So I think if you've got a shop this is something I think you'll really be interested in. Some of the, the features are listed down here. It's responsive, as you would expect. Search, sort and filter. You can select multiple products. There's some cool features here. It's got custom field support, custom taxonomy, um, taxonomy support, if I can say that correctly. Um, it's got lazy loading to improve performance. And it also uses Ajax. So that what that means is when someone adds it to their cart, they will add a product to their cart and they don't have to refresh the page so then they don't have to click the back button or anything like that should in theory lead to more sales as well it's got support for advanced custom fields as well so if you use that plugin you'll be pleased to hear that there's support for that and there's some examples down here now to use this plugin you need to use short codes the only options that you get in the plugin are this license key which you see under settings and then products under WooCommerce you enter your license key once it's activated then you can use it for as long as you want and this product table short code is what you use you use this short code and then you customize it using you know different attributes and things like that and this well this is my test website but it gives you an example of you know what you would get it's fr from a styling styling point of view what it does is it adapts to whatever WordPress theme that you're using. So if you're using um, a different WordPress theme from this, the design will be a little bit different. So um, I'll just go over and I'll show you how it works in action. Now, I, I, I showed you there, I've got it installed in my test area, but I think it's better to use the product demos that they've got because they've got everything set up. And it helps, it helps me illustrate what this plugin does a little bit better than what I could on my test area. So um, this is an example. And you can see, look, look at how big this table is here. There's CDs, there's posters, there's hoodies, there's t-shirts. So you, using the search, for example, if I search for hoodie, you can see the page doesn't have to load up, but it's narrowed down the search. It's filtered all the, uh, all the results down. Good thing is this little reset button here, click reset, and then all the products are back. You can actually change how many products are being listed as well. And you can select, you know, different, you can place different fields here at the top that you can filter with. So only black, only black albums, there's nothing, only black t-shirts. There we go. And you can reset. Now, these kind of like filtering options, if you've only got, a, you know, five or six products on a page, they're not really giving a user that much more. I think when you've got a huge amount of items listed on a, in a table, this is where filtering and sorting and all these different options really come into play and really do help a customer find what they're looking for. So if you've got a dedicated t-shirt page with 100 t-shirts listed, something like this would be really, really useful. And you can see here, you can add to cart like that. Now, there's a lot more demos in this page. In fact, what we'll do, I'll go back. See down here, they're, they're quite good. This is another reason I wanted to show you the demo area. Down here, they, they've got examples of um, how you do this. Now, th there's a knowledge base that's listed in the, the license key area, and it links to this page. And there's lots of um, help here about helping you get started. This page lists a lot of short code examples. And you'll find all the different options you can do. There's all these articles. Shows you how to customize the short code, how to use different attributes, and then start building the table as you would like. 
So that's really good. You can just refer to that. See lots of different examples here. Unit price, you can use custom images, exclude categories. Now, I'll show you some of the other examples. Okay, so this is just this one, the default usage, this is what would come up. And you can see that the design is a little bit different than it was on my website. And again, this comes down to the WordPress theme that you're using. You can customize a table your own way, but you do need to use custom CSS, add it to your style sheet. There is no built-in styling functionality. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing because I think I think most people's shops would all look this, you know, you want to keep it consistent with the rest of your shop. Still would be good to have that though. Um, so you can see there, that was created just using the default shortcode. And this one here, it's got, it's defined the table columns, add to, add to cart button, category 111, has been displayed, variations. Now you can see the variations here, you know, if you're picking a hoodie, then you can select exactly what you would want. I think that's quite cool because it saves you from having to list each item, you know, differently. You know, multiple items of the same thing, Ninja Hoodie Pink, Ninja Hoodie Pink Large. You can just place these options here and, you know, the customer can choose what they want to use and what they want to add to their cart. Like that. There's some more examples down here. This is, this is just showing you how you can build the columns. You can do things a different way. You don't have to display the add to cart button if you don't want to. This one displays the average rating and then you can just link directly to the page. And this one, this table here, you can see this one and uh, displays a custom column. So this one's got image, name, um, it's got size, color, and then it's got link. Now link is a custom column. And you can see down here, they've got different things. I'm just sorting things in a different way here. Um, yeah, you've got get a quote, there's a link here, PDF. You can do anything you want here. This is just giving you examples of how it'd work. But using custom fields, you can really build any table that you want, really. It really depends on what custom fields you've set up. If you are using something like advanced custom fields, you could display anything there, maps, if you wanted. I don't know why you would display a map, but you could if you wanted to. Um, you can see down the bottom here, there's also an option to display a customizable message. So if someone, for example, displayed, try to think, if I search for a CD, no matching products found, that would be the default answer. But you can see down here, you can customize that response. So when someone has did a search for our products and there's no filters, there's no keyword for that, there's nothing that's bringing up the results, you can customize the message and make it a little bit better than no matching products found. So you can see that's you just use this attribute. Now there's also widgets. There's four widgets here. Um, they are here: product table, price filter, layered nav filters, price filter, layered nav. Now. For the top three ones here, all you can do is change the title, but for the layered nav, you've got a few other options. You can change the attribute, change the display type, change the query type. If I jump back to the main page here, there's a screenshot here that shows you this. If I can find it somewhere, yeah. So that this, is a, this shows you how these widgets could be used on a page. You can see the different, the filter there, um, you've got the price, average rating. That one allows you to filter by size. And it's, it's nice to see this included. Now, this this video uh, is a companion for a, a review that I've did of, of this plugin. And um, overall, I think, I think that this is a very, very good plugin. Works very well. Short codes work very well. And I think the, the greatest thing about it is how quick it all works. You know, if, if you, for example, do that. Well, that's not doing that. Because, are they all black? All right, they're all available in black. I'm trying to pick something that they're... Um, right, that's a bad example. Same color, pink. Yeah, they're all available. You can see how quickly results are changing here. And I think, for me, that's one of the best selling points of this. It's really, really quick loading. And I really like the fact how quickly you can, you know, black... 
medium, add to cart, and that's added to the cart. There's the items that I've added. It's very, very, um, very, very quick. I do find it very, very quick. And I do think that if you have an online shop, giving customers this, you know, additional options like this, as far as how they search for products on your website, I think it, you know, things like this are quite significant and they can lead to more sales. I would say, however, that the short code system, um, I'd like to see more added to this plugin. So many WordPress plugins use short codes. They really, you know, so like drag and drop builders, contact form plugins, all these kind of things. They use short codes. The problem with this one is not that the fact it's using short code. I just think it would be very good if there was a button or something added to the WordPress visual editor that allowed you to say pop up a menu and then it could say like create your table, select what columns you wanted, select what filters you wanted and this allowed you to create your own unique table and then click insert into post or insert into article, something like that. It does work very easily. The short codes are very easy to understand and most people who run online shops are technical enough that short codes aren't a problem. But I always think that, you know, when you're buying a premium plugin, little things like this can go a long way um, in making a good plugin a great plugin. So that's something I'd like to see in a future version. The plugin retails at $75 for one website, $135 for two to five websites and $275 if you've got six to 10 websites. You can see here as well, there's 12 months of support, so a year of support and updates, and a 30 day money back guarantee. And you you do get a 30% discount at the end of the year. If you don't take it, take them up on the discount offer, you can continue to use the plugin, but obviously from that point, you're not going to get support, you're not going to get updates. And it's WooCommerce 3 ready. So, yeah, I mean, I, I haven't covered absolutely everything this th this plugin can do, but it is a really good solution, without a doubt. I think it's very, very f flexible. You, at the beginning especially, you'll need to refer to the knowledge base for examples of how to build the table that you want. But the good thing about that demo area is if you find a table that you like, you can see what they've been using to do something. So if you see something on this page and you go, oh, I like what they've done there, you can just copy the attribute and then add it into the short code that you're building. Hopefully they do add some more user-friendly options in the future for that though. So you can find this plugin on barn2.co.uk. I'll place a link under this video and this video will be published with my review. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I do recommend checking out this plugin if you have a WooCommerce online shop. I think a lot of shop owners will benefit from, um, from using this. I don't believe there's there's not a trial available, but I don't think that's necessary because the the demo area shows you exactly what this can do. And as you saw from the, the settings area, there's not many options behind the scenes. It's really all about customizing that short code. So I, I highly recommend checking out the demo from the sales page. Thanks for watching, guys. Get any questions, please do ask them below. And until next time, take care.